North Central in year three of its bowling program, steered by head coach Rick Gukwa. The Cardinals have a ton of experience on the roster and travel to Tinley Park for the Flyer Classic, which is hosted by Lewis University. So here's the format. We're taking in the Sunday festivities, which features three best of seven Baker format matchups. We pick up action with NCC topping Spalding University in six games, including a single game high of 202. So now it's on to Elmhurst in the third and final matchup. This will decide who places ninth overall in the 12 team field. First game, we get Caitlin Friend trying to pick up a spare, which she does, NCC off to a good start. Final frame of the opening game, North Central needs a big roll here from Talia Roti. And how about an ace that gives the Cardinals a 179-152 win? All right, second game now, and we catch up with sophomore Kelly Highway. And she's hearing Jay-Z tunes as she crosses into Brooklyn territory. Elmhurst keeping it interesting midway through the second game. Kirsten Henderson strikes from the left side using that big hook. But Roti is having herself a day. The freshman gets a clean sweep and is a little surprised by it. And that proves huge in a closer second game, which NCC wins 157-147. To the third with NCC up 2-0. Elmhurst is getting strikes from Elena Vesmer and Catherine Pettinger, which helps the Blue Jays build a lead. No worries though, frame six has Dana Sesnick staring down the lane and she connects on all 10, keeping NCC alive. Ninth frame and Highway reaching for the sniper to knock down that 10 pin and she tucks it in the corner for the pickup. But the Blue Jays get a clutch frame from Teresa Hutto who buries the strike and secures the win 167-162. To the fourth, but before the bowling resumes, Coach Gukwa making sure his team is on the same page. All right, back to play. The junior, Melissa March, the veteran on the team, and she knocks down the spare with ease to put NCC back on track. With Elmhurst already completing their game and only up four pins, NCC just needs Rody to avoid the gutter, and oh my goodness, that was a close call. NCC knocks down a 160-156 win. Moving right ahead to the fifth game, and back to March, who is clearing the path in her first frame, knocking down all ten. But Pettinger putting Elmhurst on her back and getting pumped after she sweeps the deck. Elmhurst routes game five by a 200 to 135 margin. So NCC up three to two heading to the sixth game and the big second and seventh frames belong to Friends. She strikes not once, but twice to pace the Cardinals. Unfortunately, the Blue Jays get a spare from Hutto and edge the Cardinals 177-174, pushing this thing to the full seven games. And to start the seventh, three straight strikes to build an enormous lead for the Blue Jays. North Central actually down by more than 40 pins with only three frames to go, so it's over, right? Well, not if March has something to say about it. She swings the momentum right back to the Cardinals with a strike. Can Highway keep it going? The sophomore again cutting across the lead pin and brings home a strike, so that's two straight. Now to the 10th frame, and NCC is technically still in it as the freshman Rody steps up and there's a turkey! NCC knocking on the doorstep of a ridiculous comeback as Rody heads back to the line in desperate need of a fourth consecutive strike. And she nails it! She closes the frame with a seven and now all eyes shift to the Elmhurst lane as Hutto aims for a spare and it goes wide and the Cardinals claim a seven game win. The ninth place finish the best relative to the field all season long as North Central leaves the Tinley Bowl with nothing but good vibes. I'm a bundle of nerves. <laughs> yeah, but my teammates are really helpful and they really give me on my head, so it helps me bowl. The best thing for me to do is kind of like not think about what's going on and just pretend I'm bowling by myself, kind of. And then I don't have, like kind of gives rid of some of those nerves, but though they're still there. <laughs> we came together more, we're spending more time together outside of bowling, so it just helps each other when we can mel melt as a team together and just be there for each other and we were also coming up with cheers which we don't have that many but we invented like maybe like um, six more cheers today so that was really helpful too I guess. We just all had to come together as a team and we did that and it was really a great feeling to do because you know we were struggling the last game and we struggled for the first half and then just to come together as a team was really awesome to win. Oh yeah, it feels amazing. I mean, this is probably our, this is our best tournament ever for the whole program, and 
today, I'm just so proud of us today because, you know, we really came together as a team to win the two matches to get up two spots. And I'm just so proud of how everyone performed and we were all together today, so it was awesome. It was awesome. I think that we really came out and played our best today. Um, the season has just been building and I'm really excited for next season. It means everything because I, I think that it really shows like how much work and determination um, goes into this sport and the passion that everyone has behind it. I think that it really shows that bowling is also a team sport. It's not just always individual. Everyone needs to work, to, to work together to do their best. Oh man, it was tough. We were just trying to grind through and I just try to just stick with it and then just finish it up. And with this being my last tournament, this is be. I'm proud on what we did. Um, I just fight in flight mode right now still. Heart is beating and just trying to... This is good that we did this. So. We've been slowly going up. I see big improvement from year to year. Uh, this year we got a good group of people and we're just going to keep on building that, stepping up and just throw good shots and we're there. So.